another lucky day. So I was able to get my hands on uh, three more 10 gram gold bars. So this is a part two. Uh, there's another video in this channel here uh, with uh, six other brands and such. So anyways, we're gonna compare these two, uh, keep this kind of short and concise as it's a follow up to the other one. So here we go. So we have a Credit Suisse gold bar. This one happens to be the Statue of Liberty format. We have the Royal Minter brand new uh, 10 gram uh, Boolean bar series. They, they, you know, they came out with new ones, uh, 10 and what, 20 gram and whatever to go along with the one ounce. And then this is from the Holy Land Mint. Uh, again, all these are four nines, 10 grams, uh, very confident in the quality of the, the bar itself. This has a serial number stamped on the bar and also printed on the case. So you've got the serial numbers. The Britannia, the Britannia bar has a serial number laser etched on the bar itself, but not on the package. And the Holy Land Mint has the serial number printed on the, uh, the card and also a matching one laser etched on the, uh, the bar itself. So they all have serial numbers, although the Royal Canadian Mint one does not have it on the case. This is brand new. Let's talk about this real Canadian. So this is, boy, this is gorgeous. The quality of this, it's got a protective uh, thin coating here, which I'm not going to peel off. And the, the plastic itself is clear. So it's got a thick, heavy card, two layers, You've got a back layer with a blue, and then you have a clear front layer. And this gives this thing a very heavy feeling and a very high quality feeling. This is really impressive. You got the little uh, the little flag down there, and of course uh, the current uh, Britannia um, Madam, and a very nice workmanship on this bar. This thing is so gorgeous, unbelievable. Now the packaging is a little bit thick, so I have here a, a PAMP box that would be used for PAMP Swiss bars, and it does not quite want to fit. It's almost fits. It's a little bit tight on the bottom. Actually, if I peeled off that plastic, it might go in there. But this, this reminds, yeah, that fits. Okay, we can kind of force it in. Credit Suisse is, uh, they're put around their Velcambi, so they've contracted with Velcambi Suisse to uh, produce the bars. You've got the Statue of Liberty. The image here is copyrighted 1985, which I think is hilarious. You know, they're not copywriting this historical national treasure, but they're copywriting the specific implementation of the design of this bar. I think that's the first time I've ever, ever seen a copyright stamp put right on a bar. Holy Land Mint is, I believe, is done by Arger Horaeus, and you can see that there. And the packaging is very similar to the other Arger Horaeus bars. The physical dimensions are the same. Kind of a thin bar, but a little bit on the large side. So I brought a, um, a one quarter ounce maple leaf here that we can use as a comparison. So you can get the idea here. So this is about the same width. And uh, here the uh, the Britannia is a little bit narrower, and the same with the Statue of Liberty. So which one of these is my favorite? Well, this is an absolute no-brainer. The quality of this packaging on this, and, and the stamping is really fine. You know, if you look at the other video, I was just singing the praises of the Pamp Suisse thing, and it, it reminds me of that. The packaging is actually that got that smooth back. There's no grooves in the thing. It reminds me a lot of the Pamp Suisse thing. It wouldn't surprise me if it's produced in the same place. But congratulations to the Royal Mint. This is a very well done, this new series. I th and that's all I have to say about that. Well, the God of all that is, he's worth more than gold and he loves you more than you can imagine. Go for it. Have a great day.